Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies. Today we stopped off of the main road when we were driving through the Texas Hill Country here when we saw a grain bin style silo tank that is used as a water storage tank. It has a liner inside and it's made out of galvanized steel. It has overlapping panels that are about four foot tall each, making the tank almost eight foot tall. And this is a 30 degree pitch roof. You see the raised rib seams, the access hatch that has a bolt on it, and then up toward the top, uh, there's a top hoop that's used. And then the very top of the tank, I think they sometimes call a bottle cap. Uh, look, there's a, a ladder that's mounted to the side of the tank for you to access the access hatch and take a look inside. This contraption here is our levitator level gauge that we provide to almost every tank supplier in Texas and all throughout the U.S. and Canada. This uh, gauge will rise and fall with the water level in the tank. The tank's currently empty at this time, but when water begins to go in the tank, either through uh, delivery service, well water, rainwater collection, the there is a counterweight inside that's made out of stainless steel, and there's a float. The float is uh, filled with water, and the float matches the level of the indicator. So there's a counterweight again with the pulley system. The counterweight will go opposite, which is down, while the water level with the float and the indicator rise. So you can always see how much water is inside the tank from a really far distance, up to 300 feet. And then you see over here, this appears to be a four inch butterfly valve uh, where the water then can be connected. This looks like a, uh, a fire fitting. A lot of times these tanks will be used for uh, hooking up to fire tanks uh, in these sorts of rural communities where there's not a reliable water source because the well water can't produce enough water to fill the water tanks, uh, or excuse me, fill the trucks uh, for the delivery uh, to put out a fire uh, out in a rural community like this. So sometimes you'll see butterfly valves, other times you'll see a red valve, an OS and Y type gate valve, and many times a fire department connection side, sign on the side of the tank to let fire trucks know that this is the place they can get water. Uh, the brackets down here on the bottom are uh, anchor kits that secure the base of the tank itself to this concrete pad. Not all water tanks like this have to be installed on concrete, but in many cases they do in the case of a fire tank. Sometimes these tanks are built on sand pads uh, where the sand is about six inches deep and larger than the diameter of the tank itself. But in some cases, concrete pads are required and those can be in the form of a slab and oftentimes a ring uh, where the ring is uh, built for the tank to sit on on the outside, the metal part that is, then the liner that's on the inside of the tank would rest on sand. Um, that's basically it. So again, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies in the Texas Hill Country, uh, taking a look at a corrugated steel uh, grain bin silo style water tank. If you need more information about this tank or other tanks like it, uh, you can give us a call at 877 331-7008 or check out rainwaterequipment.com.